She's gone. Well, did you talk to her? No, no. She took off out of the house before I could even catch up with her. I don't know where the hell she is. Uh -uh. Bo, I'd like to talk to you. What do you want, Dorian? A little sensitivity, for starters. Look, if you've got something to say to me, you just spit it out, all right? Cassie, you stupid man. Remember her, your present wife? Where is she? If you had feelings for anyone but yourself... Where is she? How could you walk out on her like that? Now, just tell me where she is, Stop damn it! Stop yelling at me. I'll find her myself. She's not in the house. She's out looking for you. She is devastated. This is her wedding day, for God's sake. Her wedding day! Oh. Troy, this is a big spread. There aren't any sign of her anywhere. A lot of footprints around the terrace, but we can't be sure whose they are. Could be some of the guests. Alex could be a couple miles away by now. Yeah, but it's a possibility she could still be close to this house. Bo, who the hell could figure out? We'll Alex? get her, Bo. Cassie is out there somewhere with Alex roaming around. Vicky? Yes, sir. Could you do what you can to just keep everybody calm, all right? Yeah. I'll get back as fast as I can. Where are you going? Hey, hold it, son. I'm gonna find Cassie before Alex does. Bo! Make it to her. Well, she's pretty shell shocked. Uh, probably ought to check on her, Kevin. Yeah, you know, Kevin, it's probably a good idea. Excuse me. Kevin, I want to say that. Well, I know what. Ah, hell, it wouldn't come out right anyway. No, it probably wouldn't. Probably nothing that any of us could say would come out right. Guess he told me, huh? Kevin, honey, what are you doing out here? I need you inside. Good heavens, Tina and I are trying to deal with Megan. You're nowhere to be found. I was just on my way in, Mom. Well, please come in. I need you to tend to the guests. Some of them are leaving. Are you okay? Is Kevin bothering you? Know you know what? I don't want to talk about anybody, okay? I don't want to talk about anybody, but, but us. Is that okay with you? Well, that's okay as long as we don't do a lot of talking. Oh, well, I'll try really hard not to bore you to oh, death. Oh, 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 well, let me tell you something. I don't think you could ever bore me. <laughs> do you love me? Do you? Now, why do you have to always put a lock on things, huh? Can you just try and feel? feeling this way when there's so much to do. Oh, God, Megan, what is there to do? What is there to do? Sarah just came back. Megan, you have to relax now. You must calm down. We will talk later. I just want to make sense out of all of this. We will, we will, but there is plenty of time for that, okay? It just doesn't make sense. Honey, please calm down. Obviously, Sarah was not on that plane. Bo was right. He suspected it the minute he got that message from her, but why didn't she come back to us? Well, didn't, didn't you say that, what, she was rescued by Alex or something like that? 
She said that Alex tricked her. I don't know. She sort of blurted everything out. She wasn't making much sense. She was upset. But, I mean, who can blame her? Why did she stay away for so long? Why didn't she try and contact us? Well, maybe somebody wouldn't let her contact you. Well, then she would have had to... I have to me. wonder if Carlo Hester hasn't been behind this thing all along. Well, that's what beau has been saying for the whole time, isn't it? Well, the only way to find out the truth is to find Sarah. And where is she? She could be in danger right now. Oh, no. Well, listen, if Alex is on the loose, then we're all in danger. Ah, uh, no, no, good heavens. Alex wouldn't dare try anything with all these people around. Pretty dress. Tasteful, yet attention-getting. Get out! Oh, don't get witchy, dear. It's very unbecoming on you. What do you want? To make this a day that you never forget. <laughs> it's my own little joke. I mean, how could you ever forget your wedding day? But there have been a couple of cute surprises, you have to admit that. Go on, admit it. I said admit it! I admit it. I planned the whole thing. You have me to thank for that. So thank me. I said thank oh, me. You. Oh. you think Bo enjoyed it? You know, I'm getting really tired of having a one-way conversation. I can't answer for Bo. We'll have to ask him. He's probably out bidding the bushes looking for me. And you. Isn't that a sweet surprise? Sweet. I always cry at the end of the movie when the true lovers get together, you know. Don't you? And the look on his face. And her face. And yours was priceless. It was worth all the trouble that I went to. And I went to an awful lot of trouble, believe me. How? How what? How did you arrange it? Well, I didn't call a florist or the caterers or send out gilt-edged invitations. And by the way, did you send mine to Mountain View? Is that why I didn't get it? Not that it really matters, since I'm RSVPing in person. Uh, what do you expect to gain from this, Alex? Send Cassie Callison, the ace reporter, from the banner. What do you expect to gain? Uh, you're in a lot of trouble. Kidnapping is a major felony. You think I'm a kidnapper? Well, how else did you get a hold of Sarah? Boy, did you dial the wrong number, honey. I rescued Sarah. Rescued? From a terrible imprisonment. In this picture, I was a hero. What are you doing? <laughs> you were thinking of leaving, were you? That would be so rude. I'm in the middle of a sentence. Please, Alex. Don't whine. You know, newlyweds shouldn't whine. It's so unbride-like. Now sit. No. You're scared of me, Cassie. I can see it in your eyes. And that's very, very smart. Very smart. Because I'm not responsible for my actions. That was the battery of psychiatrists at the mental institution, and they were absolutely right. I'm not responsible for my actions. So, if I were you, I'd stop it! Now, where was I? Uh, oh! I was the cavalry freeing Sarah. <sighs> From whom? Is that your next question? That's a penetrating question. You know, this really would be a good article. <laughs> if you ever get a chance to write it. 
the fair Sarah, oh, that rhymes, the sweet Sarah held off the coast of Virginia for several months by Fred Porter, the renegade FAB agent. You do remember who Fred Porter is? Yes. He held her there all this time. All these months. And they think I'm crazy. <laughs> and you rescued her. I'm a little disappointed in you, Cassie. Isn't it obvious? And I brought her here for the festivities. So that you all could be together. The two Mrs. Buchanan's. And now what? And now Bo has an abundance of riches. An over.